This is um, the text of a press statement by the Inter-Party Advisory Council of Nigeria, APAC, on an attempt to use the judiciary to destabilize our electoral process and system, and for straight screening of the INEC chairman nominee, Professor Mahmoud Yakubu, and other issues. Gentlemen of the press, 2020, when we took the bold step of rallying ourselves together to promote the mutual interest of the 18 registered political parties after Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, the enlistment, we were resolved, we were resolved, we were resolved to ensure that we had a credible election by all stakeholders. And we resolved to ensure that stakeholders and forces bent on eroding gains made in the electoral process and system are checked and made to align with broader efforts to improve the electoral process and ensure that we continue to have inclusive, peaceful, credible, fair, free, and transparent polls in the country. We were clear and fair, and, res and the result to that we, we would work harmoniously with our all stakeholders, including the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC. And this informed why, when we observed the rancorous build-up to the Edo and Ondo elections, we alerted the nation on August 11, 2020, calling on Nigerians to eschew electoral violence and stop the politics of kill and go. It is gratifying to know that the Inter-Party Advisory Council call was heeded by both INEC and on the need to conduct credible elections, especially in the Ondo and, and Ondo and called on other politicians and stakeholders to stop overheating the polity. We have never ceased in doing this. Events in the last few days in our polity demands intervention of the Inter-Party Advisory Council of Nigeria, IPAC, to su support the steering of things are right, and also to alert Nigerians of the insidious plots to unsettle the polity through destabilizing the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, and scuttle the reform instituted by the former National Chairman, INEC, Professor Mahmoud Yaku, who has stepped down from the commission, but who President Mohamed Buhari reappointed and transmitted confirmation to the Senate. What we cannot take away is that the Independent National Electoral Commission, under Professor Mahmoud Yaku, achieved respectable results during his first term. The Inter-Party Advisory Council was happy with Mahmoud's reappointment and made this clear in its congratulatory message on October 30, 2020. We noted unambiguously that the positive te technology and digitization trajectory he set for the Commission remains impressive with reformation agenda he plans for the political process and system before expiration of his first term. However, this laudable achievement is being disparaged by forces who will stop at nothing to ensure that the country do not move forward. We have reached the point where we must jettison political differences and start for Nigeria. The dishonorable tendency to pull everything down if it does not favor one's predilection or seize one's whims and carpices is leading many to indulge in acts that mocks, and mocks the senses and drains the soul. Some Nigerians are at it again to unsettle the polity and halt the screening of the INEC chairman nominee, Professor Mahmoud, Mahmoud Yaqub. Following the announcement of the appointment of Professor Mahmoud Yaqub for a second time in office as the chairman of the Independent National Electoral Commission, which received widespread support across party lines, little do we know that the few dis desperate stakeholders, including anti-progressive politicians, were not happy and have conspired among themselves to hijack the legislative powers of the Senate to screen and confirm the nominees. Some forces set afoot a deadly plot to procure a midnight court order to destabilize the electoral stability of the country and through the electoral body into leadership vacuum. These gambits were headed by those who claim to be loyalists to Mr. President in the daytime, but wear a treacherous dress to undo Mr. President and sabotage his agenda in the pursuit of a desperate ambition to be president and governor in 2023. This, this is all about 2023 20, 20, and how they, how they hackishly destroy anything inside that will stay in their ways. On October, on 18th November 2020, two hired hands purportedly, purportedly filed a matter in the Federal High Court aimed at stopping the Senate from screening the nominee and nullifying the appointment made by the President, citing that until the police completes an imaginary criminal investigation, the screening, the screening should not take place. This would seem normal to the ordinary eyes. But it had been confirmed that the matter was filed, processed, assigned, and dispatched to the judge on the same 18th day of November 2020 that it, it, it was filed. Legally, these are, these are processes that only take two weeks to complete. How fast our justice system now moves. 
They had earlier surreptitiously filed a suit to seek an order to stop the screen of Atanif City High Court. But the courageous jurist, before whom it came, while rejecting their evil expert motion to stop the screen of the index nominee, restated that the fact that no law court can stop internal parliamentary functions, which have not been completed. Having failed, they went to make to market again, claiming to be shopping for any rogue judge who would accede to their evil plot. They have now filed the same suit at the Federal High Court and got it processed, assigned and dispatched within two minutes, within minutes to another judge, judge court, hoping to continue to pursue this diabolic mission. These elements and their backers want confusion and crisis to go for electoral space and the polity. We are deeply concerned that moves of this nature should not be swept under the carpet and be dismissed with the wave of the hand, as doing so in the past have led to disastrous consequences for the polity. Nigerians will recall that just before the 2019 election, a former chief justice of Nigeria was removed in a similar circumstance with an ex parte order filed, processed, and had on the same day by even a tribunal that not only has quasi criminal jurisdiction, we counsel strongly against this move as the country is still reeling from NSAS protests that claim many lives and destruction of several properties across the country. Efforts have been made in the past to reach the council in this bid to dissolve Professor Mahmoud's combination, but we decline because we are convinced that the stability of the electoral process and ongoing reforms by Professor Yakub are very promising and when fully implemented as he holds the key to unlocking our nation's electoral challenges. Why is APAC? APAC will not stand in the way of any politician or stakeholders that desire to pursue his or electoral ambition in 2023. The British man and many of them, including very senior and close, minister, close ministers and top aides of Mr. President, has become worrisome. Everything is being thrown now to derail the polity, even if it is to destroy the respectable achievements made by the electoral umpire and the scuttling of the screening of Professor Makujo by the Senate. APAC also found at the use of the media houses, especially fake news report, a fake news cover, course Sahara report and others had on 18th day of November 2020 mobilized the fake news online portal to publish very blunt and unfounded allegations of bribery and corruption against Professor Yaku. The fake news portal alleged that the president of Senate, Senator Ahmad Lawa, received the sum of $2 billion from Professor Mahmoud to aid his appointment. Overheating the polity in this manner will not serve the nation any good. I do not know where you do two billion where that will be housed or where it will come from. We, we as the body of all recent political parties have unanimously accepted Professor Mahmoud's nomination and agreed to speed his, his screening and nothing, can, nothing on the part of Iba can change that because he has done credibly well in his first tenure and we need to give him a second chance. I, the IPAC you see and the effort that we made so far is as a result of the harmonious relationship that has been going on between the IPAC and INEC and also the um, electoral com commissioner nominee. We therefore call on the chief judge of the Federal High Court to personally investigate the processes filed in this case, circumstances of the lightning speed, processing and the assignment of this case within minutes, and order the transfer of this matter to any other judge of the Federal High Court. As events following the filing show that the suit was guided to its present destination, we also use this opportunity to call on the Senate to save the country and all its institutions. This present plus of this desecrating by speedily reconvening to reconsider, screen and confirm the nominee, Professor Mahmoud Yaku. This is needless tension that the, 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 the non-confirmation has caused. We do not need these distractions that are capable of casting doubt credibility of the 2000 general election. This evil plot to hijack the election management body prior to a general election is novel in our political atmosphere. We must not let this to happen. The president has made a nomination which has enjoyed widespread applause, both locally and internationally. And the best all can do is to give support and not to list undertake to have a job to do. Finally, we must also do everything that we can to stop this culture of pull him down. This country has faced this over time. Consistency should be the word. If a person has performed credibly well for a period of time, the position of IPAC is that that person should be given a second chance, and that's our position. It is based on practical and empirical results. We're not here because we want to say it. We're here because we also want to happen in the, uh, a do 
we have also seen the transformation that has also gone in other elections in this country. This thing is not a quick fix thing, it's not a magical game. It is something that must take time over time and is being done on our part. So it is a collective effort, both from the part of the media, the part of the political parties, the part of all stakeholders, to ensure that the road to 2023, the road to the screening of Professor Mahmoud is done smoothly so that everybody will have his way. Nobody says um, that you should not complain or do anything, but we should do it in such a manner that politics is not overheat, in such a manner that we will not go back to the NSAS protests and not other things that have been causing us. Nigeria is in peace now. Any little thing can trigger some very, very bad effect. Thank you for having this opportunity that we have this now. Thank you very much.